Okay, we are um, precariously balanced on the top of a, of a uh, lunchbox. That's probably a little suboptimal, but it will do for now. Um, we're in the Senior Design Lab uh, looking at the project of Kevin Morgan mm -hmm. and um, sitting here on the breadboard. And over here we've got the actual uh, schematic. So I, I'm taking this video from my actual laptop, which is a little suboptimal camera. I don't think you can see the schematic there. Um, but anyway, so Kevin, could you tell us a little bit about uh, what your circuit is and what it does? Uh, it's basically something that replicates a tunnel diode with a negative resistance region, and it uses JPEDs and a biasing ladder. Okay, so, and so you've built a wave shaper. For, uh, basically, this is a nonlinear wave shaper. And um, uh, there's two halves to it, one handling the positive, one handling the negative half. So let's go ahead and uh, listen to that, and maybe look at it on the scope. And um, so let me see if I can turn it up here. So here we have a sine wave going in, 210 hertz, and we can actually maybe even see that on the scope. So if you would, change one of the, uh, twist one of the knobs, and we'll both hear and see the effect. Okay, twist it back the other way. Uh, twist one of the other knobs. So this is, the, you've got separate control over the, uh, where that fold happens on the, both the positive and negative parts of the wave, which is pretty cool. Um, let's try listening to what this sounds like when you put a, a sawtooth wave through it. So do, run the same experiments, if you would, for the two halves. Okay, that's kind of exciting, okay. Okay, uh, twist it all the way buzzy sound on one side and then twist the other one the same way too. Okay, there we go. And then um, we have also ha have a couple of jacks where we can put in a control voltage and balancing this on top of the lunchbox is probably not the wisest thing I've ever done. But let's try it anyway. So we can have a control voltage from an MOTM that's coming into... Um... So there, I think you can even see it on the scope up there. It's Change modulator, I'll change the right here. So I'm running a LFO sine wave, I guess, like. Here's a square wave. And just to show it works, why don't we uh, plug that CV input into your other, other input on the other side. So you, you'll see, it sounds similar, but you'll see on the scope, it's modifying a different part of the wave. And if we're really crazy, we could put in a, a couple of different LFOs um, to the, change both of those differently, but uh, I think that's enough for now. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, so, say bye, Kevin. Bye. Cool.